Hey, how's it going everyone? Hope everyone is having a good day. So uh, today's video, I wanted to uh, go over an effective uh, way to remove uh, earwax in the courtesy of your own home and without having to go to the doctor uh, and making it a big hassle. Um, a lot of people are not fortunate to uh, have health insurance and even if you do have health insurance, having to make the appointment, having to wait weeks on end when you have an earwax buildup and it's clogging up, or if you don't have insurance, you gotta pay money, whatever the reason, uh, there's a cheaper, uh, excuse me, a cheaper and um, effective alternative that if done properly, you can remove your ear, ear wax. And this product I got, um, this is just a ear picker right here that I actually got at an Asian market. Now let me open it up real quick. It's clean, don't worry. I haven't used it in a while. So it's just a metal little spoon right here. Now I'm not gonna demonstrate right now for obvious reasons, because it's pretty nasty, but my ears are clean. And you just gently put it in your ear. And once you get to a certain point, you just kinda just turn, 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 and you kinda just scoop around. And after a while you'll get the hang of it and then you'll get a piece of tissue and just remove it a little at a time. Now, doctors are always gonna tell you not to shove anything into your ear because you don't wanna damage your eardrum. That is true, obviously, but you gotta have some common sense. So uh, Q-tips for sure though, I don't recommend. Q-tips don't really uh, serve a purpose. They kinda actually push the earwax all the way in. Um, the uh, peroxide drops that they that they have at the st at the drug stores, those can work for mild uh, earwax removal. But however, if your earwax is very hard, and I've always had like a dry and hard earwax, if it's at a point where it's already getting clogged up and it's too hard, pouring the drops in actually makes it worse. Why? Because it's so solidified and it's like a rock. And then now you're pouring in liquid, sticky liquid into that area. And what it what happens is, it may have happened to you is, you may feel a little bit muffled to begin with. You put the eye drop, not the eye drop, the ear drop in, and it actually feels even more clogged. So you don't want to do that. And that's where this comes into play. Now, like I said earlier in the video, you can get this at an Asian market. It's uh, most Asian markets. They have a beauty beauty area, a beauty section where um, they sell like lotions and other stuff and perfumes. If you just ask them for this, boom, they'll, they'll, they'll uh, provide it for you. It's only a few bucks. Now some people, uh, I'm in the Bay Area in California, some people don't have an Asian market, so they're like, what the heck, you know? Well, if you go on Amazon, you type in ear picker, they have wooden spoons, metal ones, and metal or wooden should, be, should suffice, it should be fine. Um, you can go and try those methods. Um, those are products and um, I've tried it in the past and it should be okay but this one's really convenient it's only a few bucks it saves you money and uh, it's good to go so uh, that is uh, my time for this video so uh, once again oh and one last thing I wanted to, to mention is I prefer to use and pick the, the earwax out when my ear is dry now some people are gonna say maybe I like to do it when it's kind of wet because it's not as hard. So why do I feel that way? Because when it's hard, yes, it's hard to get out, but at least you can kind of hear it and you can grasp it better and kind of nudge it, nudge it in a way and kind of scrape it. When it's too wet, let's say after you take a shower and then you try to use this product, the wax just kind of sticks to the your earlobe or in, inside your ear and you kind of don't feel, you can't really, hear the wax because it's so adhered to the to the to the water and it just it's just not as efficient that's just my personal opinion so if you do try this product for a first time and just um wait till your ears are dry and then you'll hear it like crunching kind of it's it's a nasty thing and just do this about i don't know i would i would just check it every a few weeks maybe even a month and uh, i used to do this for years on end and now i do have health insurance i still do go to uh, the ENT because I do have health insurance and I go and it's like 10 minutes in and out but this will knock out 90-95% of your problems um, 
so that's it hopefully uh, that video video was helpful and just use common sense I'm not medically responsible for this you know don't be jamming it in and if it feels like it's too painful and you're not comfortable doing it then just go to the ENT and go to the doctor that's my time I'll talk to you later bye